Hello, there's the camera. Hello Studio Art 360, welcome to Wednesday. Sorry I can't be with you. I am out educating juniors on becoming responsible adults and seniors. So I'll be back on Thursday. Today what you're going to be doing is continuing to work on your pop art piece. Now throughout this week we've taken a look at different artists. On Monday we looked at Andy Warhol. And on Tuesday, we saw the work of Roy Lichtenstein. We had the uh, Wham! painting. Uh, and today what we're doing is we're taking a look at Jim Dine's artwork. Now, Jim Dine is a very famous painter, and his pop art is, is a lot of icons, a lot of recognizable objects, not so much cartoons or labels or products like a Campbell's Soup Can, but he actually brought in real objects. The painting that I've got in front of you, or down the screen, are bathrobes, and he did a whole bathrobe series. He did a whole series on the painter's palette. He's used characters like Pinocchio. He's used skulls and crows and owls and all sorts of things that we, as everyday people, experience. Some of his work includes also three-dimensional objects. In fact, if you look carefully at the bathrobe series, you can see there's a wire that runs down from where the neck of the bathrobe is down to where the bottom of the robe is. Um, there's a wire and a little loop and some wood down there that's holding it in place. Um, so he incorporated real three-dimensional objects that we as people of popular culture use on a daily basis. One of the things about Jim Dine's bathrobe series that I really enjoy and the piece that I'm showing you today is how crisp and how sharp his colors are. Now he outlines his in black and I know some of you are talking about outlining yours in color and that's fine. But what I'm seeing as you guys are progressing with these paintings is very very thin paint. Now we don't have the most expensive acrylic paint for this project but if you're generous with it and you don't scrimp on it and you use a couple layers in spaces it's going to be thick and it's going to cover that canvas. The other thing is remember what I said about yellows and oranges and reds. You might have to add a little bit of white to thicken that up. So that's where we are today. You've got the entire hour to work on these pieces. This is a pop artist Jim Dine's bathrobe and the question to lead the hour with is what is one thing you learned about acrylic paint so far in the process? And your answer is going to be different than your neighbor's answer, so think about it. How has acrylic paint worked for you? How are you dealing with it? I want you to be thoughtful. At the end of the hour, I've got another question for you, and that one's going to be, what are three things you would or will change about the artwork you're doing so far? We're in a good spot to examine and reflect the artwork in front of you. So think about that. The rest of the time is yours to work. Take a minute and answer my question at the beginning. Give yourself time at the end of the hour to answer that question. Work well together. Take the time to mix your colors nicely. Share if you have to. End of the hour. Third hour. There is a handful of you. It might be one of you. It might be two of you who continually choose to leave a wet palette at the sink. If it's you, and you're looking down at your desk so no one's looking at you, everyone look around, see who's looking at their desk. Make sure you take care of that. I don't like walking over there and getting a nasty wet palette that I have to deal with. So your guest teacher is going to be standing by the sinks making sure everybody's taking care of their stuff. Bristles up, everything dry, leave the room cleaner than when you came in. I hope it's clean, that drying class, they're kind of messy sometimes. Other than that, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a great day. We're going to work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on this piece, and hopefully we'll be ready to be done with it on Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Done. Stop. There it is.